is here. The champ is here. Hey, yeah, it's your boy Champ, and this is the Champ is Here show. Yo, hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Long Champ here, co-hosting. Yeah, and I got a special guest today. Uh, this is a, a good friend of mine, entrepreneur, businessman. He has different different facets of business that he's into, and uh, I just want to welcome him here today. Yusuf, what's going on, a.k.a. Mizzle. Hey, Miz. Hey, hey Miz. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what's the vibe? How you doing today? I'm chilling, bro. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. So um, I see you wearing your um, like uh-huh. Nigerian apparel. Yeah, Can you? About to ask about yeah, that. that's looking <laughs> kind of fire right there. I'm like, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you tell us a little about that real quick? Yeah, straight into the business. Facts. Yeah. So Nigeria is one of my um companies that I own. Um, stands for New York Nigeria. So it does. It's not centralized to New York Nigerians, but it's represents Africans, all Africans from east to the west coast, hence the Nigeria in the middle, New York to one side, and Los Angeles to the next side, east to west. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's dope. That's, dope. Yeah, That's that. fire. I like that. <laughs> That's fire part. Nigerian. Okay. Nah, it's, it's for everybody, man. Why? It's for everybody. Because I know, I know other countries is kind of hating on the low, right? Like, like Yeah, like, I've, I've gotten a couple. I've gotten a couple. So I'm trying to get into the Ghanaians. I'm trying to get to the Liberians, the South Africans. And believe it or not, my, my customers are white. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. I, they're white. I can see yeah. that. I can see that. White and Indians. White yeah, and Indians. Them, white and Indians, them, uh, yeah. They jacking. Yeah, because you see them on the... The they, Afro pop thing. Yeah, they dancing. Yeah. They're doing that. So the Afro beats. Yeah. So, yeah, they're definitely Facts. jacking. That's dope. That's what's up. Facts. That's what's up. Like okay, so, but how did you get into that? How did you? Get how into I get that into talk? that? It started out with a podcast with um I had called um um what men think today, and and someone so we so my co-host for that podcast Alex I'm not sure if you remember with Alex yes I do remember so I um he made a comment and we got ridiculed for that comment that he made on that podcast and um his older brother was like yo screw that. You guys are not German. You guys are this. You guys are that. Keep going. Keep going. Stop listening to what people tell you guys. Right. All feedback is not positive feedback. Even if it's negative, keep going. Facts. And I'm like, yo, you know what? It's a good time to be not German right now. And uh-huh. that's when, and in fact, that we're both from New York, we're both not German, said, hey, you know what? This makes sense. It's a good time to be Nigerian. It's a good time to start a company called Nigeria right, and let's fucking roll with it. Yeah, yeah. so. Because you know the yeah. thing is, I seen it on social media and yeah. I saw you wearing it. Yeah. But I didn't know that you were behind it. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is fire. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 100% too. 100%. So yeah, definitely saw the Explore page. I've seen it a few times. Well, yeah, thank so you, sir. That's what's up. Okay. I've also you, seen sir. it a lot of, uh, at a lot of events that I've gone to, a lot mm-hmm. of Afrobeat events. Mm-hmm. Thank um, you. Shout outs to DJ Tunes on some of his events. I've seen mm-hmm. a lot of uh, 100%. people. 100%. Yes. That's my guy right there. That's my guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank my you. guy. Yeah, he should be in a show probably next week. Yeah, we're going to interview this guy. Yeah, you know, talk let's about get him. It. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. So where, where, where exactly are you from exactly? Because you're saying you're from New York, but what part of New York? I'm Staten Island, actually. Staten Island. Yeah, Staten Shaolin. Island. Shaolin, yeah. Okay. It's the forgotten so I... borough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, when I went, I remember um, going to, because I used to go to um, school in Staten Island, and when I arrived in Staten Island, I called it Little Africa. <laughs> because I always wondered, like, you know, I've seen a lot of Africans in New York, I'm like, but where are they at? You know, Brownsville, someplace... Yeah. But it's like they all migrate. When they leave Africa, they come straight to Staten Island. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Especially the Liberians. That's what it feels like. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, like, this, like I think the, the the black population on Staten Island may be about 80% Liberians. Mm, okay. Yeah. Over the past 10 years. Uh, yeah. So you wasn't like beefing with them or nothing like that? Nah, nah, love. no beef. It's always love. It's oh, always love. love. So how does um being in Staten Island, like how did that influence you as far as, you know, being African and, you know, being an entrepreneur and how you transitioned? How did that influence you being that, you know, you're mm-hmm. the forgotten borough? Well, I don't think I don't think it's more so being on Staten Island. I think it's more so being in the hood, hmm. right? So um, growing up, in the hood, so we have these, these these four walls, right? So inside the house, we're African in the house, but once we leave the house, we become we're in we're in the streets now, we're in the hood, and the our two worlds is completely separate. And then it's quite often they collide where your African upbringing kicks in, and then the streets kicks in, and it's like that 
flight or fight mentality, and in most cases, you got to fight because, again, you're in the hood. You just okay. can't, right, 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 you just right. can't escape forever. Like, you know, someone's gonna see you tomorrow. Like, you got, <laughs> you got to take care of this. You got to take care of the situation today. Okay. So, and and that's where you, that's where I learned personally, um, the mentality of hustling. Like, you know, you gotta, you gotta survive. Like, there's been times where. Um, I wanted something, my mom said she couldn't get it, and you gotta figure out how to get it. Like, okay. um, started started hustling, not illegally, of course, but hustling in the sense where you gotta go get it. So, right. um, really, really early on, like I think 2002, 2003, um, started an eBay business, very successful at it, um, before eBay changed the rules Mm-hmm. On how to make money selling Uptowns, Timberland boots, selling um, antique denim, Red Monkey jeans on eBay. Hustle, hustle. Um, yeah, oh, making yeah, making right. service bread at the age of 23, 24 years old. Even um, employed some of my men in the hood. So, some fun facts people don't know about me. Right. That right. I, I, fed, I fed the hood. Um, in the inside scoop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, but have you ever, because I... Have you ever had a regular job, or has it always been, you know, you had that mentality where, you know what, I need to sell, I need to, you know, bring value, and let me just, you know, go out there and just push a product and see what I can do with it? Yeah, um, I've always had a regular job because um, my, I think my very first job, my first real legitimate job was at 27 years old. So for some people, that was kind of late in the game to start working. Mm-hmm. For somebody at the you know being successful working for yourself for a little bit, and um, but working for myself, I'm sorry, working for someone else taught me a lot of things, um, and I, and I credit Target for um, maturing me as a man. I learned a lot about being a man working at Target. I learned a lot about people. I learned a lot about um, effective communication, things right. that I didn't get from the streets. So okay, so. Again, single parent household too. I didn't get that from a father figure neither. So, um, just really work. Just really working with other people of different cultures and different backgrounds matured me at a much faster rate. Okay. So that was the that's the real benefit I got out of working for somebody else. Nice, nice. Okay. So, what business or businesses that are you in, involved <laughs> with now? Are you still you know working for somebody else, or are you still are you doing your own thing now? Oh, I'm 100 percent solo. I've been that way for the past 12 months. Um, so currently, right now, we're going through a relaunch. And I use the word, although it's me, <laughs> I always use the word we, and that, that's that's purposeful because um, not to create an illusion, but it ultimately gives the it, it, it speaks growth into the company because we are going to be a we. We are going to be a corporation. We are going to be what is destined for us mm, to be. That's right. I like you know, that. Damn, so it's, 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 it's always we. So I don't say I, I, I. It's we, 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 although it's still me. It's still we still. Right. So so, yeah. so, with, so one, I have Nigeria, which is the clothing company. We're going through a we. are going through a relaunch, and we're planning to relaunch in June. Um, so new products, new waiting for the supply chain to open up with um, our partners in Asia. So once that, um, once the planes start flying and the boat starts docking again, um, we could launch a new website and new products, new merchandise. So expecting that to happen by late June. Thank Lord willing. Um, I have I'm the co-founder and CEO of We Susu, and We Susu is exactly what it is. Um, a, a web-based susu platform or money pool for the Americans who don't know what susu oh, is. Really? Um, yeah. so that's fire because yeah. the susu, I know, you know, you just got to go to the person, mm-hmm. you give them the money, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the susu for years, yeah. you know what I mean? So, same concept. Um, what we did, we digitized it and we took away all the fair factor out of it, right? So, if you are... Um, if you're the person controlling the money or gatekeeping the money, you don't have to chase people down for the money anymore. Um, the money is now is now coming out people's bank accounts um, automatically when the money is due, nice. and we're treating it. And then every every piece of money that goes that goes through our platform will be FDIC insured. So we're treating it as a loan to the individual. So That's and every on time payment <laughs> will be reported to the credit bureaus um, to help also help people with poor credit um, get credit as well. And the really important thing that we're doing, but also we're not. We're not tackling the credit system as it is today. What we are, we are creating an alternative credit system called the Trust Score. So 
and that trust call will come will be based on your engagement with our platform your engagement with the susus how often you make your susus on time you'll get a score and with that score we'll partner with the targets the macy's the um major auto worlds the toyota and say hey this person has a trust score of this amount we know their credit score is bad but ignore their credit score we're telling you that their trust score is this and it's a lot more transparent everybody in the world can see the trust score so let's say if you ask me for a hundred dollars I know where I'm like, let me pull up my app and see what Kevin's long chance um, trust That's score is. Oh, it's 99%. Okay, I could give Kevin $100. I know he'll give it back. But how is that as versus my credit, though? If I have bad credit, which means I don't pay back, I'm not good at paying. Well, people back. have bad credit for lots of different reasons. Right. right? Okay. You, 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 may, you may have never missed a payment at all in your life, but because your credit utilization may be high. It, it is what it is, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, you so for under, different car, you apply mm -hmm. for a lot of different cars, different, yeah, there's a lot of yeah. different aspects that go into And then, okay. like, like the whole nonsense of being dinged for applying for too many credit cards, that's that makes no sense to me. Like, if you, if you get approved, you get approved, right? So, right. um, with our trust core, and it's all about real time money. And then, what's what makes it really cool is that it's dynamic, so your peers could, um, rate you on your trust score. So, your brother could say, Hey, Oh, Kevin, man, he all, he's a day late. Or oh, right. your man's coming in um, a few minutes late. <laughs> you get his trust call. It comes down yeah. a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it all depends. It's all relative okay. based on the algorithms. Okay, and you said, is that, so is there a way I can build interest on this? Or is it, do I just like a regular susu? Like um, right now, it's just a regular susu. Our plan, our phase two plan, probably 2021, um, will be to go into peer-to-peer -peer lending. So micro lending. So, and micro, in my definition, is under $5,000, right? So, let's say um, if I have $5,000 laying around and I really don't need it, I can lend it to you for maybe 10% interest. You set the terms on the interest you want back. And, oh, or you put your money into our system, we'll find the person who wants to borrow it, and we manage the whole process. So you never have to worry about anything at all. So, I said Nigeria, we susu. And then the third thing that I'm really doing now um, also um, is really helping people make money from network marketing, um, direct marketing. Um, so, and I don't care what company, I think Kevin, you brought this to my attention also a couple right. of weeks ago that Robert Kiyosaki said, Hey, if someone introduced you into a network marketing, you get into it. Even if you don't know what you're doing for the first five years, get into it. Cause you're going to learn. And once, once things start flowing for you, your life will never be the same ever again. Right. Right. So um, for me, I'm with a company called TLC. And you could do this with any company, K Mary Kay, Avon. doesn't really matter what company you do with. Just get involved with a network marketing company. I recommend it. Um, commissions are always great. And it's always going to be a slow process. But if you stick to it, um, it'll ultimately always make sense in the long run. Now, what I've learned, because um, when it comes to network marketing, mm -hmm. in the beginning, you know, there was always this misconception that it's a py pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the wealthiest people in the world, you know, are in network marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, Jim Rohn talks about network marketing mm -hmm. and um, who else? Robert Kiyosaki. Mm -hmm. You know, these greats, they get into these network marketing. Mm -hmm. So can you explain exactly how that works, you know, so you could uh, dispel some of the misconceptions of that? Yeah, sure. So um, the best way to, the best way I would choose to describe network marketing is to um, use CJ... Madam C.J. Walker, um, black entrepreneur, the right. first black uh, woman uh, millionaire in the United States. Um, I'm not think she, no, I'll take that back. She's the first woman uh, millionaire in the United States. Um, and her organization was based off of direct selling. So that was a pyramid, um, ultimately. And, th and the way that works is you have a product, instead of... Um, paying advertisers millions of dollars, you rather give that money back to the people. Right. Like, hey, Kevin, go sell 10 of these and you'll get a commission and you'll do the marketing, word of mouth marketing, you go sell it and you earn. She employed people and that's what, that's what um, network marketing is. They're employing people who, for nothing, like, yo, just pay $50 to join this program and get these products and go sell it and then you get a commission and you never have to stock it yourself. You never have to make it yourself. You never have to deal with the customer service. You never have to ship it yourself. It makes sense. It's a gold mine. And um, I hope I'm answering the question correctly. But 
Um, the spy was the story of Madam T.J. Walker, and then other companies has followed suit. Avon, Amway, um, like I said, Mary Kay at the top of this. Um, a lot of companies are doing it. I mean, my advice... Tupperware. Yeah, is, I remember. Is a yeah. network, is yeah. a... Um, yeah, Tupperware, yeah. Is a um, pyramid, for lack of a better word. Correct. Hoover, the vacuum cleaner, used to be a pyramid. Yeah, Kirby. Used to go yeah, like, so. Kirby, Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> you know, so a lot of companies, a lot of big companies started out as um, network marketing, and some of them segued, and some of them stayed the same. I think, what's his name in uh, Pursuit of uh, Will Smith uh, and Pursuit of Happiness? Yeah, that was uh, a, that was a, um, a network marketing yep. job as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, yeah. So, I just know that the highest paid profession mm-hmm. in America is sales. Yeah, it yeah. sells, and the way you know net some. So what people believe is that, I guess what steers people away from network marketing is, hey, listen, I'm on, I have a product, but then I have to put you on and mm-hmm. you on, yeah, and then it grows that way. But on the other end, that's how you network. Mm-hmm. It's teaching you social skills. Mm-hmm. It's teaching you how to interact and how to sell and how to yeah. deal. A lot of life skills come out of um, any sales job, either be network marketing or selling. Um, if you think about it, every single company, um, even you guys as this YouTube um, host that you guys are, you guys have to sell. You have to, you have to sell in some fashion, right? Either through YouTube to get more customers, through Instagram right. to get more customers. Right. Um, you have to sell in some fashion. Even if, even if the exchange, the currency you're getting is time versus dollars. Um, you still have to sell, and every company that got to where they are today all had to sell. Um, Apple had to sell to somebody to get the, to get their initial buys. Microsoft, Bill Gates had to sell himself to the companies really early, really early on to build Microsoft. So right. everybody has to sell. Salesforce had to sell. Um, Oracle had to sell. Okay. So sales so, is important. So what are you selling? What are what exactly are you selling? Um, right now, I'm, I'm just selling myself, to be honest with you. So, I'm for sale. Like, um, someone say, yo, I want to buy this hat off of me, off my head right now. It's for sale. Um, <laughs> seriously. I keep things on sale. Like, yo, if I'm short $20, I'm pushing this pack of tea for $20. Right. Like, you know, yeah, I'm, everything's for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> detox tea. That's, that's what I really kind of wanted to segue into. Yeah, de- yeah. detox tea, um, <laughs> coffee for the brain. Okay. Yeah, I sell everything, man. Nothing like I think Meek Mill said in an interview a couple of, about a year ago when he came out of jail. Like, sell everything, like I sell everything. Hmm. It's on sell, sell them in the streets right now, offering me the, a nice amount of money for my car on this on site. Going sold. Hmm. I sell that's everything. A good, that's a great mentality to have. Yeah, because yeah. like um, get rid of it while you can because it's everything depreciates. Hmm. So be, yeah, so basically. Um, we just have to let go of an emotional attachment to what we have because you can always get it back. If you're a creator, mm-hmm. you're always going to create. That's so, you know, yeah. something that you don't have to necessarily hold on to. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, brother. I mean, um, is there anything else that you want to share? Yeah, with I want to encourage everybody to do um, one of two things. Um, number one, um, popular opinions versus profitable opinions. Um, I think that um, a lot of us do things that a lot of us in our culture do things based on what's popular versus what's profitable, hmm. right? So if you're about making this money, um, focus on what's profitable. And a good example is if you're going to buy, I personally rather spend $1,500 on a pair of shoes that will last me 10 years versus buying a pair of Jordans every month, a month and a half. Because at the end of the day, when you do the math, you spent more on Jordans than I paid on that one shoe that's gonna keep me flying ill for the next 10, 15 years versus a pair of Jordans that will um, depreciate and lose its coolness over After a while. Yeah, absolutely. Fashion while. changes. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Fashion and the last changes. thing, I, the last thing I have before you guys um, cut me off <laughs> is um, be investable. I think that's extremely important. So be investable, um, build credibility, build trust with people around you, make people want to. Um, believe in you and invest in you so right. if someone says hey i need a hundred dollars they should not hesitate twice to give you that money if they if you're investable right that means that trust has to be a hundred percent a hundred percent of the time like i know that hundred dollars is gonna go some it's gonna go to someone yeah exactly you're not mm-hmm. gonna go try to flip it and then come back with excuses two weeks later and say oh i, I had a bad batch or you know you know <laughs> what i'm saying so, yeah <laughs> Now, because the thing is, you know, um, I was a little skeptical because the thing is, when it comes to network marketing, 
um, or anything when mm -hmm. to sell, I want to sell something that I'm passionate about, not yeah. something that, you know, just going to just to make money, whatever. Mm -hmm. So at first, you know, you know, I was like, I'm not selling yeah. sexy tea. You know what I mean? <laughs> but a friend of mine who wanted me to sell sexy tea. Can you believe that? Sexy tea, you know, the tummy tea, you know, the, the new things, whatever, whatever. I just can't really see myself. Because he's not really that sexy, right? Like, why no, he's first of all, you hate <laughs> <laughs> But then, you know, I've been working now, or whatever, whatever. Yeah. And, um, nah, it's a great because I met a young lady, for example, mm -hmm. she's doing real estate and she's also yeah. doing the teas, whatever, whatever. So she came up to me and said, hey, yo, listen, mm -hmm. I have this proposition for you. We work together as a team in real estate. Hey, how about you do this? And what made me want to do it is you know talking to you yeah you know what i mean talking to you and say you know what i might want to you know it, it, it get involved into this into this network marketing because if i want to become wealthy no, i definitely have to sell something yeah sell I, um with, with with network marketing um one thing i would say is be the product of the product don't sell something that you personally do not use um, be a product of the product. Be the product of the product. I don't care if it's water, if it's hand sanitizer, if it's a laptop you're selling or a cell phone that they have you selling. Make sure you personally use the product. So once you believe that the product works, then you have a lot more confidence and authority to sell the product. Okay. So if any, if the viewers want to just go in, so where can they follow you? Where can they find all this information oh, wow. and stuff like that? Um, they can find me, personal page, a mizzle. A dot M I Z A L. I have a hair company on Instagram called Sleek Tresses. Ooh, and you um, sell hair? I sell hair too. Come baby. on, man. man. This guy doesn't know. I, 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 I sell <laughs> weed. <laughs> yeah, come, come see me for those 30 inches. Yo, so you sell hair. I sell you hair. Sell clothes, sell clothes, you yeah. sell tea. You sell, sell tea, you. Man. I sell, you sell tea, your, yeah, man. Got that. You sell this jacket? This is just fire. Jacket, this is the one of a kind. the one of a kind right now. We're going to put all these sites in the description of the video. But, um, Definitely want to know what was that that Susu joint again? We yeah. Susu W E S U S U dot I O. Okay. Dot I O. Okay. Just put your name, put your email in the in the box, and then you'll get an email once we launch officially in a couple of weeks. Le, le, nice, le, nice, le, nice, le, nice. Yeah. Mizzle, you are definitely changing the game. I appreciate well, you. Thank I've you, always sir. told you you should be a coach, a business coach, life coach, because thank you, you definitely sir. are inspirational. I like what you're doing right now. Keep mm -hmm. doing your thing keep pushing well, thank you know what you. I'm saying too so and you know partly my idea for the podcast was from watching your podcast you know what I mean oh, so absolutely so now nah, I definitely thank give you, credit man. where credit thank you. my man's been doing it you know what I'm saying to you appreciate it so um yeah I knew I was on my way you know just <laughs> Living in Staten Island, when I found out that we were smashing the same chick, I was like, I know I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Dude? <laughs> Not at the same time. It was just, you know what I mean? But I just knew, you know what I mean? But, um, Mizzle, thanks for having I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you came through. Thanks for visiting. And, you know, you're welcome. Yo, thanks for having time. me, man. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, guys. Right. So, um, quick shout outs to, uh, to all the viewers, uh, to all the listeners. Shout outs to Culture Media. Um, shout outs to uh, shout outs to AP Records. Mm -hmm. Shout out to City of Dreams. Also, a big shout out to what, my man, my sound. I got a new sound man here. Yeah. What's your what's your Troy? This Troy. Shout out to my man Troy. He's a little bashful. Big shout out to Moving Keys because we all moving keys. Holla at me if you know if you need a home, if you need a car. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, and also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah. Cheers.